Can you imagine a world where reality is not an objective truth, but a subjective creation of our minds? Where what we perceive as real is actually a manifestation of our beliefs, desires, and ideals? This provocative question sets the stage for our exploration of idealism, a philosophical doctrine suggesting that reality, or reality as we know it, is fundamentally mental, mentally constructed, or otherwise immaterial. Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey through the maze of idealism, where we'll explore the profound implications of this philosophy on how we understand the world, ourselves, and our place within it. Our story begins in the hallowed halls of ancient philosophy, where the seeds of idealism were first sown by thinkers like Plato. Plato envisioned a world of forms, perfect and immutable, that represented the true essence of all things. Reality to Plato was not what we experienced through our senses, but what we grasped with our minds. This notion that ideas could be more real than physical objects laid the groundwork for centuries of philosophical inquiry, influencing countless thinkers and shaping the development of idealism through the ages. Idealism is not a monolith, but a mosaic of theories. Subjective idealism posits that only our own mental experiences are real, while objective idealism suggests that the universe exists independently of individual perceptions governed by some universal mind or spirit. Transcendental idealism, introduced by Immanuel Kant, argues that our understanding of the external world is shaped by our perceptual faculties and not the world itself. These variations of idealism challenge us to question the very nature of reality and our ability to perceive it. Idealism and spirituality often walk hand in hand as many religious beliefs embody idealistic elements. Religions across the world teach that the material world is a manifestation or illusion, with true reality being spiritual or conceptual in nature. This alignment suggests that our spiritual beliefs and practices can profoundly influence our perception of reality, offering a powerful testament to the idealistic notion that the mind can transcend the limits of the physical world. The dialogue between idealism and science is both complex and fascinating. Science relies on observation and experimentation, tools of the material world, Yet the scientific method itself is rooted in the assumption that our perceptions can uncover universal truths. This paradox underscores a profound connection between idealism and science. Both are endeavors of the mind seeking to explain the nature of reality. Quantum physics, with its counterintuitive principles and reliance on observation, provides a compelling modern-day arena where idealistic and scientific perspectives intersect challenging our most basic assumptions about reality. Art and literature are fertile grounds for idealistic exploration, as creators use their imagination to bring to life worlds that exist beyond the physical. From the allegorical realms of Dante's Divine Comedy to the existential musings of Kafka, literature has long wrestled with questions of reality, perception, and the power of the mind. In the visual arts, movements like surrealism and abstract expressionism reject literal representations of the world in favor of conveying emotional or conceptual truths, demonstrating how idealism can shape our creative expressions and in turn, our understanding of reality. Idealism has not only shaped our philosophical and artistic landscapes, but has also played a pivotal role in political and social revolutions. The belief in the power of ideas to change the world can be seen in movements such as the Enlightenment, which laid the groundwork for democratic revolutions, or in the idealistic underpinnings of social justice campaigns that envision a more equitable society. These examples highlight how idealistic principles can inspire collective action and drive societal transformation embodying the philosophy's potential to influence the material world. 
Facing the critiques of idealism, this image presents a landscape divided by a jagged fault line, symbolizing the contentious debate between idealism and its critics. The style merges Dadaism with metaphysical painting, using blue and yellow to depict the tension between the abstract and the concrete, the imagined and the real. This fine art piece invites viewers to ponder the criticisms of idealism as a detachment from reality, challenging them to find balance between thought and experience. Critics argue that idealism, with its emphasis on the mental or spiritual over the material, risks detaching individuals from the tangible world and its pressing realities. This skepticism poses important questions about the practicality of idealism and its ability to address the concrete challenges we face in our daily lives and collective endeavors. The psychological aspect of idealism reveals how our beliefs and perceptions can profoundly impact our mental health and behavior. The power of positive thinking, a concept rooted in idealistic thought, suggests that our mental attitudes can influence our physical well-being and life outcomes. Yet this perspective also raises questions about the pressures of relentless optimism and the potential for disillusionment when our ideals clash with reality. Understanding the psychological underpinnings of idealism invites us to consider how our minds construct our experience of the world, for better or worse, and how this construction influences our actions and interactions within it. Through case studies, we see the tangible manifestations of idealism in the world. Whether it's the founding fathers of the United States envisioning a new nation based on democratic ideals, or modern social entrepreneurs who create businesses to solve social problems, these examples demonstrate how idealistic principles can drive concrete actions and societal progress. These stories not only celebrate the achievements of individuals and movements inspired by idealistic visions, but also challenge us to consider how our own ideals can influence the world around us. A comparative analysis of idealism and realism reveals a philosophical chess match that has played out across centuries. Realism, with its focus on the tangible, external aspects of reality, offers a counterpoint to the introspective, mind-centric approach of idealism. This juxtaposition raises crucial questions about how we engage with the world. Are our perceptions reliable guides to reality, or do we need to anchor our understanding in the physical world that exists independently of our thoughts? By examining the strengths and weaknesses of each perspective, we can find a more nuanced approach to understanding and interacting with the world around us. In modern society, idealism continues to play a vital role in shaping our responses to contemporary challenges. From the environmental movement's vision of a sustainable planet to the tech industry's belief in the power of innovation to solve global problems, idealistic principles are at the heart of many efforts to create a better future. Yet, as we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, the tension between idealistic aspirations and practical realities becomes increasingly apparent. Reflecting on this tension invites us to explore how idealism can inform and inspire our actions, even as we confront the limitations of our ideals in the face of complex global challenges. Looking to the future, idealism stands on the cusp of new frontiers, shaped by advances in philosophy, science, and technology. The exploration of consciousness, the development of artificial intelligence, and the growing understanding of our interconnectedness with the natural world all suggest new avenues for idealistic thought. As we confront these emerging realities, the principles of idealism invite us to envision a future where the power of the mind and the potential of human creativity are harnessed to navigate the complexities of an ever-changing world. As we conclude our exploration of idealism, we invite you, the viewers, to reflect on the role of idealism in your own lives. 
How do your beliefs shape your perception of reality? In what ways do your ideals inspire your actions and interactions with the world? The journey through idealism is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a deeply personal one, inviting us to consider how our inner worlds influence the outer world and vice versa. By engaging with the principles of idealism, we open ourselves to new possibilities for understanding, creativity, and transformation. In this exploration, we have danced along the edges of mind and matter delving into the heart of what it means to be an idealist in a world that often prizes materialism and pragmatism. We've witnessed the historical depth of idealism, explored its manifestations across cultures and disciplines, and pondered its implications for our personal and collective lives. Through the lens of idealism, we've been challenged to reconsider our understanding of reality, to question the foundations of our beliefs, and to imagine new possibilities for our world. Yet, as we stand at the crossroads of thought and action, we must also confront the challenging questions that idealism presents. Can our ideals truly shape the fabric of reality, or are they mere reflections of a world beyond our control? How do we balance the visionary aspects of idealism with the practical demands of living in a material world? These questions are not easily answered, but they are essential to the ongoing dialogue between idealism and the diverse perspectives that shape our understanding of the world. As we draw this narrative to a close, we invite you to carry forward the spirit of inquiry and imagination that idealism inspires. Let the questions we've pondered and the stories we've explored be a starting point for your own reflections on the nature of reality, the power of the mind, and the potential for ideas to change the world. Idealism, with its focus on the primacy of ideas and the creative potential of the mind, offers a vision of the world that is as challenging as it is inspiring. It invites us to see beyond the immediate, to question the taken for granted, and to imagine what could be in the light of what is. Thank you, dear viewers, for embarking on this journey through the maze of idealism with us. We hope that this exploration has not only illuminated the complex landscape of idealistic thought, but has also inspired you to reflect on your own beliefs and the ways in which they shape your understanding of the world. As we part ways, let us carry forward the spirit of inquiry and the belief in the transformative power of ideas. Until we meet again, keep questioning, keep imagining, and keep shaping the world with your ideals.